Guys, in this video, we are going to be calibrating a pressure safety switch for this particular air handler. Whenever you work on one of these pressure safety switches, you need to remember that there are two ports on this particular type of sensor. You have a high pressure port and a low pressure port. If you were to be installing one of these on a return duct, you would need to use the low pressure port. What we have here is a dual duct system where we have a high pressure safety switch on both the hot deck and the cold deck of this particular air handler. To give you a little bit better understanding of how those work, I will put a link up top where you can view a video that I did explaining the uh, hot deck and cold deck function. What we have here these switches are these safety switches are basically a set of contacts hooked to a uh, it's pressure switch is all of this is it's real simple and what we are going to be doing is calibrating the particular safety to the uh, rated set point it's going to vary depending on your particular system on the particular type of duct work that you're using uh, this is a high pressure duct system, so it can handle quite a bit of air pressure. We are actually going to be calibrating these sensors to 7 inches of static pressure. I have just finished calibrating this particular sensor here, and the way that we do that is by connecting a magnetic and just a hand bulb pump together. I will actually put links down in the description to where you can pick up one of these a uh, hand bulb as well as a magna helic so check out the description below to find those and then we just simply have a few fittings to where we can connect the bulb the magna helic to the high pressure sensor to the high pressure safety and then all we will do is pump the safety up pump the bulb up until the unit clicks just simply like that I want to slowly watch what it goes to but before I do that you always want to make sure that you close the valve to make sure that you are getting a good seal and then simply pump the switch up until you hear it click I don't know if you will be able to hear it click in this currently have this one set to just over seven inches of water column and okay there we go and if any adjustment needs to be made this is my adjustment screw for this particular model here I would simply turn it clockwise to increase the pressure and then turn it counterclockwise to decrease the pressure once you have made your adjustment make sure to bleed that pressure back off by opening the valve on your hand pump and you can see that it bled down right there and then I can retest by resetting the safety closing my valve back off and again pumping the system up until it hits that seven inches of water column which is what this particular system is set for right there we go it just clicked and the system shut down that's the basic steps in calibrating a pressure safety switch if you have any questions just leave those down in the description below check out all my other videos be sure to subscribe thanks for watching